Immigrants from all over the world come to Taiwan where they find work, start families, and contribute to making the island so special. In today's installment of An Immigrant Story, we meet Mahu Cherikuri, an Indian man who founded a biotech company in Taiwan. The company's specialty is developing drugs to treat diseases that affect the eye's retina. FTV reporter Stephanie Yang spoke to Cherukuri about being a founder in Taiwan and some of his latest projects. This is Madhu Cherukuri, the founder of a biotech company in Taiwan. The company develops medicines that treat diseases affecting the eye's retina, a thin layer of tissue on the inside back wall of your eye. The team currently has two projects undergoing clinical trials. One is an eye drop for dry eye disease. Small molecule in lice run from allergan for treating dry eye disease. It's also quite ex exciting molecule. Uh, we are conducting clinical trials for testing safety and efficacy of this molecule in dry eye patients uh, for treating over a three months period. We're expecting the key clinical readouts this year, December. The anti-integrant portion is the one we enlisted from NCKU, and the whole molecule was designed by us. Another project involves developing a drug to treat retinal diseases such as diabetic macular edema and neovascular age-related macular degeneration. Biologics, it's a protein program a single molecule with the two targets, anti-VEGF and anti-integrin. The integrin portion of the molecule was in licensed from NCKU in 2015. This molecule was designed to treat unmet medical needs in retinal diseases such as diabetic macular edema and age-related macular degeneration. This molecule is expected to improve the vision in retinal patients and prolong the effect and stop the disease progression. Currently, this project is in clinical trials, uh, testing the safety and efficacy of this drug. We're expecting the clinical trials uh, end of first quarter 2023. Chirakuri was born and raised in India. After receiving his PhD, he went to the University of Kansas Medical Center in the U.S. to complete his postdoctoral training in pharmacology and toxicology. After this, he joined the pharmaceutical industry. He then spent over 30 years developing new drugs for ophthalmology and central nervous system diseases at global companies. He first came to Taiwan in 2014, where he served as a director at a pharmaceutical company. He then founded his current biopharmaceutical company, where he currently serves as a CEO. He leads a research and development team to develop medicines to treat retinal diseases such as age-related macular degeneration, dry eye, and diabetic macular edema. Uh, I came uh, to Taiwan in 2014, and uh, at that time, I was kind of concerned about uh, Taiwan the language barrier, and uh, fortunately, many Taiwanese speak English. It was not the case. Afterwards, uh, it was quite uh, exciting to work with our scientists here, and I'm very happy to develop the medicines, what we have today. I'm quite uh, excited about the new drug development. Taiwan has excellent pool of scientists, and uh, ecosystem and strong government support to increase new innovations. I felt I can take the advantage of Taiwan ecosystem and create new drug development company in Taiwan and achieve the goal. Chirakuri says he hopes to continue to work with his team in Taiwan to develop new drugs to help treat more patients around the world. FTV reporter Stephanie Yang, Yang Bojue, and Li Yihan in Taipei.